2014 Spring Promotion Tournament live from Cologne, Germany. Before we get to the game three between NIP and KMT, I want to get these guys' breakdown of the first two matches. Now, overall, I think we can pretty much sum up the matches is nerves. Nerves everywhere. We've seen ultimates going off, no follow-ups in some of the games through those ultimates, and both teams have been doing it back and forth, even from the Baron down to the Dragons. Coming out of picks and bans to just start things off, what have you seen that surprised you? Well, the main point for me that surprised me is their Mumu pick. Uh, we have been playing a lot against NIP, and they usually play very aggressive junglers, plays aggressive all over the map, and right now they're just playing defensive, waiting for things to happen. That's not how they usually play. I, I think you actually said it best, you know, during the course of the games, is that NRP are playing in the fear of losing their jobs. And it feels like that fear, that tension is actually holding them back. So, um, Herkubot is a fantastic mechanical jungler. He's got great uh, individual ability. Right. And I'm, I'm saddened seeing him on such a passive jungler like Amumu. He can be doing better and not banning Kale. Game one and game two, Overpower is destroying people. I really feel like they have to put some emphasis on that in this next, this next game. Yeah, you can't let something like that go. Knowing that this team continues to play Kale, that's a staple. Do you think it's going to have to be banned or is it something that NIP can still work around? I definitely expect it to be banned in next game because all the champions nuked out plays is not that great against Kale in my opinion. And it's been working out really well for them. If they ban one of their main picks, they might have a better shout at winning. What, what's your opinion on NIP's performance so far? You know, from what we've been seeing in comparison to what you know of Ninjas in Pajamas, you know, is this the same team that you've been scrimming against online? So I feel like all of them are just playing too passive. Like, so so have been playing decent here, but he's still playing too passive. For example, then he played against me. He was proxy farming me. He was ganking all the lanes. He was roaming all over the place and killing people. And I just don't see that from him right now. And we know these guys, Zoro Zero, Nuke Doc, this team, Herkubot, they come through with a lot of theory crafting and sometimes put that before, you know, if it works or not. Does that hurt in a potential in a way? Can they kind of get themselves into a bad situation if they just go for what's theory crafted and not if it actually works? Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, you have to think about everything, uh, everything, but you can't only throw craft because it's what works for you and what you have tried playing against. Because, like, not that many teams play scale, and they're not used to play against these teams. Another thing that we can't let slide here is we have to talk about the fact that everybody on NIP here was already qualified to be in the LCS. What would be the reason that this would happen? A team switches up, it's kind of somewhat like what Alliance did, but you guys are looking to create a team to go farther. Well, I think the reason they did it is because they want a stronger team, and that makes sense. But I don't understand why they just didn't stay in Lemon Docks instead of going to NIP, because they had a secure spot. They could just have changed players. The grass is always greener on the other side syndrome could be coming into this one. You know, stepping back, looking at the players, looking at the, the potential. Uh, you and I were talking about the composition, talking about NRP's roster and saying how the five players on paper could be fantastic. It looks great. In theory, it but it's just, does. it's not happening right now. At I am Cologne, they didn't necessarily show up against the Copenhagen Wolves. They're not doing particularly well now. And I also really want to comment on KMT. We've been talking about NRP a lot, but KMT are playing well. They're playing slowly. They're waiting. Both teams a little passive. They're waiting for, for, for a moment to take advantage, yeah. and then they're converting it. And you have to give them props. If NIP are playing slowly, eventually they're going to slip up, and KMT seems to be finding ways to convert it to Barons, to Towers, and actually two-game wins. And Wicked, you, we were saying early between the games, this is kind of the old EG style. We created this lengthy <laughs> gameplay. What can you do to stop that? What was, it, what was the worst thing for you guys to face on a team during lengthy gameplay? Well, the main reason that we had the play style is because we were weaker mechanical players, like as a team. So we just wanted to draw out the games and then outplay them with the knowledge because we knew how to play the game, we knew how to team fight, and that was really great for us. How do you counter it? I mean, we've seen two very <laughs> passive, slow games. If KMT keep up this style, NIP has to do something to change it. And then potentially KMT is going to have to counter that. So what would you do if you were sitting in either of these team seats? Well, both teams got really good mechanical skills. So I think it's just about who goes on the offensive first. Like, if you go incredibly offensive, the enemy team won't expect it. And they might not be able to handle it. So Mu has come out a few times this weekend and almost not a lackluster performance, but not what the team necessarily needed, especially we're talking about mechanics on a lot of these players. Do you think Herkubot needs to go on something that's going to be more effective in the early game to get them running? Yeah, like definitely Herkubot needs to be aggressive so all the lanes can do what they usually do because they used to have an aggressive jungler. Like Dexter also used to play incredibly aggressive for Nuke Dog and so so, so they're used to that and they still need to keep that play style. All right, Wicked, final question. Who's got the number for you? Is it going to be KMT going on, or is NIP going to keep in this? 
Well, I always cheer for good games, and I really like NIP guys, but right now, I just want to go for five games. That'd be the best. All right. I, I think I have to sit on the fence for this one. I think <laughs> if we see uh, Herkubot playing another sort of passive jungle like in Amumu, I'm giving this 3 go to KMT. If Herkubot picks a different sort of uh, earlier ganking champion like in Elise, maybe even Elise Sin, I think we're going further in the series. All right, three point.